Wilhelm Emil Willy Messerschmitt was a German aircraft designer and manufacturer. He was born in Frankfurt am Main, the son of Baptist Ferdinand Messerschmitt and his second wife, Anna Maria na Copyright E. Schuller. Probably Messerschmitt's single most important design was the Messerschmitt BF 109, designed in 1934 with the collaboration of Walter Rethel. The BF 109 became the most important fighter in the Luftwaffe as Germany rearmed prior to World War II. To this day, it remains one of the most produced warplanes in history, with some 34,000 built, with only the Russian Ilyushin Il 2 surpassing it at 36,000. Another Messerschmitt aircraft, first called BF 109R, purpose built for record setting, but later redesignated Messerschmitt Mi 209 broke the absolute world airspeed record and held the world speed record for propeller-driven aircraft until 1969. His firm also produced the first jet-powered fighter to enter service a Euro the Messerschmitt Mi-262, although Messerschmitt himself did not design it. First sailplane designs and WWI, as a young man, Messerschmitt befriended German sailplane pioneer Friedrich Haaf. Hearth joined the German army in 1914 and while he was away at war, Messerschmitt continued work on one of Hearth's designs, the S-5 glider. In 1917, Messerschmitt himself signed up for military service. Following the war, the two were reunited and continued to work together while Messerschmitt commenced study at the Munich Technical College and Hearth built aircraft at the Bayerisch Flugzeugwerk. The S-8 glider they designed and built together in 1921 broke a world duration record and they went into partnership for a while running a flying school. The same year, the first plane entirely designed by Messerschmitt flew a Euro the S-9 glider. Beginning of his career, during 1923 Hearth and Messerschmitt had a falling out and went their separate ways, with Messerschmitt founding his own aircraft company at Augsburg. At first, Messerschmitt built sailplanes, but within two years had progressed via motor gliders to small powered aircraft, sports and touring types. These culminated in the Messerschmitt M-17 and Messerschmitt M-18 designs, which Messerschmitt sold to BFW in 1927, when the Bavarian state government encouraged a merger between the two companies. These were followed by the Messerschmitt M-20 light transport in 1928, which proved a disaster for BFW and Messerschmitt himself. Two Deutsche Lufthansa M20s were involved in serious crashes very soon after purchase, and this led the airline to cancel their order for the type. This caused a serious cash flow problem for the company and led to its bankruptcy in 1931. The M20 crashes also created a powerful enemy for Messerschmitt in the person of Arad Milch, the head of Lufthansa who had lost a close friend in one of the crashes. Nazi Germany and World War II the establishment of the Reichse Luftfahrtministerium by the Nazi government in 1933, headed by Milch, led to a resurgence in the German aircraft industry and the resurrection of BFW. Collaborating with Robert Lusser, Messerschmitt designed the flagship product of the relaunched company, a low-wing sports monoplane called the Messerschmitt M37, but better known by its later RLM designation of BF 108 Tafen. The following year, Messerschmitt would incorporate many design features of this aircraft into the BF-109 fighter. Nevertheless, only the ties that Messerschmitt had formed with leading Nazis Rudolf Hess and Hermann Gar Paragraph Ring saved him from sharing the fate of Milch's other great enemy, Hugo Junkers. To stay in business in the face of Milch ensuring that he would get no government contracts, Messerschmitt had signed agreements with Romania for sales of the M-37 and a transport plane the Messerschmitt M36. When Milch learned of this, he publicly denounced Messerschmitt as a traitor, and the Gestapo was sent to question him and other BFW officials. Probably due to Kronice intervention, no further action was taken. When in 1936, the Messerschmitt BF109 won the RLM single-seat fighter contest to become one of the main Luftwaffe aircraft types. Messerschmitt and his factory took an important role in the RLM's armament plans, increasing in significance even further when Messerschmitt's BF-110 also won the multi-purpose fighter contest. On July 11, 1938, 
Messerschmitt was appointed chairman and managing director of Bayerisch Flugzeugwerk and the company was renamed after him to Messerschmitt AG. This same year, the company began work on what would eventually become the Mi-262, and of the Messerschmitt Mi-210, planned as successor for the Bf-110. The Mi-210 turned out to be plagued by massive development problems that were solved only by evolving the type into the Messerschmitt Mi-410, and the resulting problems and delays again put the reputation of both Messerschmitt and his namesake company in jeopardy. Trial and post-war career Following World War II, Messerschmitt was tried by a denazification court for using slave labor, and in 1948 was convicted of collaborating with the Nazi regime. After two years in prison, he was released and resumed his position as head of his company. Since Germany was forbidden to manufacture aircraft until 1955, he turned his company to manufacturing prefabricated buildings, sewing machines, and small cars a euro most notably the Messerschmitt Cabine Roller. Exporting his talents, he designed the Hispano HA-200 jet trainer for Hispano Aviacia Cube Den in Spain in 1952 before eventually being allowed to return to aircraft manufacturing in Germany to license produce the Fiat G91 and then Lockheed F-104 Starfighter for the West German Luftwaffe. He designed the later Helwyn HA-300, a light supersonic interceptor, for the Egyptian Air Forces. This was his last aircraft design. Messerschmitt saw his company through mergers first with Bar Paragraph LKOW in 1968 and then Hamburger Flugzeugbau in 1969, at which point it became MBB with Messerschmitt as chairman until 1970 when he retired. He died eight years later, on September 15, 1978 in a Munich hospital in undisclosed circumstances. Criticism, Messerschmitt's designs were characterized by a clear focus on performance, especially by striving for lightweight construction, but also by minimizing parasitic drag from aerodynamic surfaces. His critics accused him of taking this approach too far in some designs. His falling out with Hearth had been over designs Hearth felt to be dangerously unstable, and the Mi-210 displayed instability too which could be cured only by enlarging the airframe and the aerodynamic surfaces, increasing drag and weight. Messerschmitt's design philosophy also is evident in his arguments with Alexander Lipisch, who was designing the Taylor's Mi-163 rocket fighter for production at the Messerschmitt works. While Lipisch maintained that the Taylor's design had an advantage, in principle, with regard to total drag, Messerschmitt pointed out that the design compromises necessary to make a tailless aircraft safely controllable defeated this purpose by increasing drag to the original level and above. Equals awards equals, Messerschmitt was appointed honorary professor by the Munich Technical College in 1930, and the vice president of the Deutsche Academy Far one quarter a Luftfahrtforschung. The German government also awarded him the title of Wehr for one quarter rare. In 1938, Adolf Hitler bestowed upon Messerschmitt the German National Prize for Art and Science. Bibliography, Frank Van, Willy Messerschmitt. First full biography of an aeronautical genius. Sparkford, Stevens, 1993, short biography. References.